Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to draw Bloom's taxonomy in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from PrezzoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The Bloom's taxonomy model you will learn to create today looks like this. It's a very powerful training evaluation model, and most trainers are aware of how Bloom's taxonomy is used to evaluate any training performance. Now I'm going to show you how to create Bloom's taxonomy model from scratch. So let us go to a new slide. And the first thing I'm going to do is to go to insert smart art. And I'm going to use the option called pyramid. And here you see the pyramid option. I'm going to say, okay. And now Bloom's taxonomy model has six stages. So we are going to go to the text pane here and I'm going to hit enter. So I have six bullet points, so I can have six tiers in this pyramid. Then I'm going to make some small adjustment in terms of how this graphic looks. Then all I need to do is to go to convert, convert to shapes. So I convert this from being a smart art onto being a collection of auto shapes because I don't really like the way in which uh, you write your text in smart art because what happens is as you write longer text here at the top, top area, then the font size of everything else gets reduced and it's a very big pain. So I always prefer to break it into shapes and then add my own text here using text boxes. So that is what I'm going to do here. So I have taken this and I'm going to right click, go to group and say ungroup. Now we can select each of these segments and add our own colors. The benefit of doing this is you don't really have to stick to the default smart art color combinations that are allowed in the graphic. Here you can have far more independence and what that means is your graphic is going to look much fresh rather than one of the graphics that you've just picked up from um, the ready-made options available in smart art. So these things really matter because your audience really wants to see the amount of effort that you have put in to make your graphic look special for them. Now the next step is to label each of these segments. So I'm going to go to this example here and I'm just going to pick up the various uh, text elements that I've already written because uh, writing all these elements using text boxes is going to be a waste of your time. So that is the reason why I'm just going to pick up these text elements. I'm going to press Control C and then come back here and press Control V so that uh, Control V is the shortcut for paste. Now I just need to make some small adjustments so I can place these in the proper place. The next thing is to animate each of these uh, segments. So the first thing is to select a segment and the associated explanation and press Control G to group it. The next thing is to animate each of these stages. So I'm going to select while holding the shift button, the order of selection really is important because that is the order in which the animation is going to work. Now that this is done, let us go to animations tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to wipe animation and choose the option called from bottom because the graphic seems to go from bottom up because it's a pyramid graphic. Now all this has to happen on click. Now this is very important otherwise every all the animation happens simultaneously by having it on click you will be able to present each of the segments on a click. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how the graphic gets revealed one at a time. On a click I have the first stage which is just about remembering the facts that you have taught them. The second one is to demonstrate that they have actually understood whatever that you have taught them. The next stage is that they show that they can apply whatever that you have taught them. The next one is not only do they remember, understand and apply, but they can also analyze a given problem and they would be able to come out with proper analysis. And the next one is the stage where they can evaluate and make a judgment based on the things that they have learned. And finally, they go to the virtuoso stage where they can create based on their learning. Of course, the short explanations that I provided to you for each of the stages is fairly rudimentary. As a trainer, I am sure you know how to present the various stages of Bloom's taxonomy. There are different ways in which Bloom's taxonomy model is presented. The one that I showed you is just one of the ways in which you can present the model. Of course, all the examples I'm going to show you are taken from our complete trainers bundle. 
The alternative that I've seen people use is this one, where we have a different way in which each of the six stages is represented. And this is a different version of Bloom's taxonomy. You know that in 1956, this is the way in which Bloom's taxonomy was presented. In 2001, the same model was revised and this is the newer way in which Bloom's taxonomy is interpreted. Now, all these models are readily drawn in Complete Trainers Bundle. In fact, Complete Trainers Bundle has a massive collection of 446 models and frameworks all readily created. So you can just pick up a model and stick it in your training presentation and have your presentation go. And it's one of the essential resources that you require as a trainer to make your training presentations look interesting and memorable for your audience. And in general, Complete Trainers Bundle is a collection of 4022 PowerPoint templates that allow you to visualize any type of slide that you would require in a matter of minutes. Before we close this video, just one more thing. I hope you liked our simple tutorial on how to create Bloom's taxonomy model and present it with purposeful custom animation. If you like the tutorial, then you will really love our free snackable PowerPoint course. Free Snackable PowerPoint course is a collection of 16 super short emails, each email explaining a simple 30 second PowerPoint tip or trick that you can immediately pick and implement in your presentations. Your slides will instantly look better and you would be able to impress your boss, colleagues and audiences with these super short and very powerful tricks. So click on the button here and enroll to Snackable PowerPoint course right away. I'll see you inside the course.